Well, good morning, y'all. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. I'm Ryan Spencer, and we've got another amazing adoptable pet for the Humane Society of Washington County. As always, you can check out their full adoption gallery over at hswcmd.org. And a special thanks to Central Dogma Healthy Place for Pets Naturally in Hagerstown and Frederick, our sponsor each and every week for the podcast. Now, today, we have got an adorable and amazing dog by the name of Jack. Good morning, guys, and good morning to Jack, who already looks ecstatic <laughs> to be on the air this morning. Yes, good morning, Ryan. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this awesome dog that you guys have here in the room who is super playful, loving. You guys have the toys in there ready to rock and roll for him. I mean, the dude's ready for Christmas, I can already tell. He definitely is. All he needs is a home to spend it in and someone to give him treats. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Is, yeah. yeah. He is a senior boy. He's six. He's a large dog, as you can see. He does love his treats. Um, really affectionate. Mostly loves toys. He's a bit of a toy collector, like Al from uh, Toy Story, Big Al's Toy Barn. <laughs> um, he just, he loves playing and he loves just relaxing and he's been getting pretty sad waiting for his home so we're hoping that he finds one soon but also he has a unique look his face always looks sad <laughs> he's got that yeah that that default kind of like hey love me and get me toys please kind of look so definitely <laughs> yeah. a spoilable dog i can tell oh yeah i could see him getting away with anything with those like eyebrows those sad eyes but yes oh, he's a goodness. sweetheart he would love to a a couch some toys and blankets and he knows some tricks i don't know if he'll want to do them right now but he knows sit and he can sit pretty oh there he goes oh. <laughs> you get him yeah sit up sit pretty oh now we're gonna do play yes yeah. so he's very smart very uh trainable he's an affectionate boy big boy mm -hmm. Yeah, and as far as like kind of the, the, the perfect match for Jack, are we thinking a, a family would be a, a good kind of spot for Jack? Yeah, I think he would do great in a family. Um, maybe some older kids just because he does like his toys all to himself. Um, <laughs> probably only dog in the home. He's been here a while. He wants some, you know, one-on-one -on -one attention. But, um, you know, doesn't need a real active family. He is seems to be a couch potato so <laughs> <laughs> anyone that just wants someone to hang out with chill you know it's gonna get colder out and i think he would love to get under the covers with someone that's amazing and you guys have a little bit of cool stuff going on here into the christmas season um a little bit of a donation special going on right yeah right now until the end of december we have a donor that has generously offered to match all donations up to twenty five thousand dollars so any donations made at this time will go twice as far and they can do that by going on our website that's awesome sweet and then obviously too coming up here in just a few weeks almost kind of the granddaddy of them all as far as events for the humane society you've got your polar <laughs> plunge coming up. Tell us a little bit about that event and uh, how people can get involved. Yeah, so our Polar Plunge, people can sign up either as an individual or we have some teams forming and you can create a fundraising page and people will pledge to donate however much they want so that you and or your team can get in the cold water at Greenbrier on January 7th to raise money for the shelter. That's perfect. And it's such a fun event. I see all the pictures and videos each and every year. And of course, it all goes towards making sure that awesome dogs and cats just like Jack there find new homes. And of course, he is just the sweetest thing in the world. Again, like you said, that face just says, adopt me, spoil me rotten, and have some fun and run around with me and play with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's He's just a lover. Yeah, and we do have um, awards that we give out before the Polar Plunge. So we have things for people like to come in costume. We have the uh, most creative uh, individual costume, team costume. We also give awards for most money raised as an individual and as a team. And then we also have uh, most creative virtual Polar Plunge. Ooh. I think you might have done a virtual one one year. 
I did. I jumped inside of my icy <laughs> bathtub and read a story to kids, I think, for the vir virtual plunge. And then I think I also did a walk through a car wash as well. So oh, um, we've okay. done the so fair share of virtual plunges. <laughs> yeah, if people can't make it in person, they can film a video of a polar plunge. There you go. That's perfect. I'll have to think of some new ideas now for 2023. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. You've got like... Two weeks, a little bit. Two weeks. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Well, hey, thank you so much, guys. Looking forward to the Polar Plunge. It's going to be an amazing event. Uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, what's to come with the donation drive. I think that's a perfect way to celebrate the holiday season, to give to great organizations um, that are in need. And I think, uh, you know, the Humane Society of Washington County is a perfect organization for that as well. And Jack, you are the cutest. And I hope somebody adopts you and spoils you rotten this holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all the toys <laughs> there you go exactly thank you so much you guys and of course if you want to adopt jack or any of the amazing adoptable pets from the humane society of washington county you can do so right now by heading over to hswcmv.org to check out their hours and to fill out an adoption application thanks so much for watching you guys we'll catch you again for another episode of the podcast next wednesday at 9 a.m happy holidays